Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel. Thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, see it and purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today, we discuss my favorite family of IWC dress watches. This is the IWC Portofino Handwind 8 Days 5101-06, part of a family launched in the most recent year of the Portofino by IWC. That was 2011. We don't know what SIHH 2019 holds, but for now, this is top dog and one of my absolute favorites. No offense to the Portuguese, nice watches, but the Portofinos sing to me and capture my heart. It's a full-size modern watch with the image of a vintage watch, much like a pocket watch converted to a wristwatch format. The timepiece has a broad round case of 45 millimeters and short cropped relatively stubby lugs designed to mimic the appearance of welded lugs on early 20th century converted pocket watches. Lug to lug the watch spans a pretty reasonable 50.9 millimeters. That's acceptable for a watch of 45 millimeters diameter and even a bit more compact than I would have expected. 12.1 millimeters thick with a generously domed cambered sapphire and a sloped case flank. This is a great watch to wear underneath a tight cuff. I would recommend this watch for a wrist as small as I would say 15 centimeters in circumference. Now my 16 centimeter circumference wrist wears it quite easily and part of the pleasure of this watch is enjoying an incredibly high grade IWC Santoni Italian leather strap. Signal orange on the underside, which is the hallmark of the Italian manufacturer. You can see on the top, a very high grade semi-gloss, a large rectangular scale alligator leather, lightly bolstered at the root of the strap. You can see it features a thin sheer sided edge showing the layers of construction, a monotone stitch, and a Portofino specific pin buckle that has a little bit of a vintage vibe to it, as well as a delicious detail with that revetment for the pin within the buckle body. Jumping back to the case, once again, all of the Portofinos refer to what is actually a fairly modern watch, the giant Portofino 5251 of 1981, and that was essentially a Kurt Claus project in conjunction with IWC stylist Hanno Bircher, so Claus for the watchmaking, Bircher for the design, and together they cased up an IWC pocket watch movement in what was then known as the giant Portofino or the fried egg, because it looked as much. And in both cases, they were right. That was ultimately the inspiration for the Portofino that we know today. So that was actually a watch of the 80s designed to look like a converted pocket watch or field watch of the 19 teens or 1920s, the early years of like the officer's style. And this is very much in that tradition, though its roots are in the 80s. Now the watch does have an enormous blue sunburst style that is simply explosive. You can see that it's not a matte metallic, it is a true sunburst. As a result, it's highly reactive in the light. The finery just continues and continues. Polished leaf style hands, polished leaf hands for sub-registers. You have polished applique Indices, as well as stylized Roman numeral 12, polished chapter ring for the sub-seconds. There's also a step to the sub-seconds minute track. You can see there's a minimalist date window at 3 o'clock for practicality and a power reserve scale at 9 o'clock, making this an excellent watch for those who own collections. If you like to cycle through, this is a watch with an 8-day power reserve you need wind only once per week. All of the modern tech is present and correct. Note hacking seconds. Note the timepiece. Let me just make sure we're out of the danger zone here. Yep, we're not in the date change zone. Timepiece also featuring an in addition to the hacking seconds, a quick set date function so you can rapidly cycle the date to the watch run down. And of course, you've got that power reserve, and this is a hand wind IWC, so you will want to wind it and watch that power reserve sweep along. It's a wonderful little piece of horological theater, and it's one of the most practical complications as in a manual wind watch. This is truly useful info. Turn it all over, and you can see that the caliper is based on the IWC Giant Automatic 50,000 series, but this is a derivation known as the 59210, adjusted to five positions like a chronometer. It features an overcoil hairspring for concentric beating in any position, helping it to hold that superb adjustment in five positions is the free sprung architecture. So the overcoil for excellent timing in every position, the free sprung architecture to help it retain the adjustment in each position. So that's a very shock resistant arrangement. A huge barrel for the eight day power reserve sitting underneath a giant barrel bridge up at the top of the movement. You can see Cote de Genève as well as a satin grain across the regulator. There's an engine turned perlage across the base plate and there's also a series of black polished screws across the movement. You can see there 
reflective qualities turning optically black as I twist them through the light. It's a handsome movement, 30 meters water resistant thanks to the case construction. It beats away to modern 28,800 vibrations per hour. All the tech you could possibly want, plus the pleasure of interacting with your watch. Not constantly, you need only wind it once per week. A handsome watch, and probably the most fetching member of my favorite family of IWC dress watches. You can see the Portofino Handwind 8 Days 5101-6 and make it yours on our website.